So we finally have the motors installed on the new version of the Precision Matthews PM25. We have the 570 ounce NEMA 23 steppers on the X, the Y, and the Z, if you can see it over there, it's behind the motor. And everything's been calibrated. Um, I got the motor hood off. I've been breaking in the spindle on this one with the brushless DC motor and the two speed belt drive. Uh, it's pretty nice. It actually is pretty quiet. So what we're going to do today though is a backlash test. Um, on the CNC kits I pretty much guarantee one uh, 0.15 thousandths lash is acceptable. Now not all the screws are quite that good um, but if you get one that's not then I'll replace the screw. So this is the y-axis and I kind of do two ways on testing. We're going to do all three X, Y, and Z here. Um, I'll back, back up to the uh, to zero the meter and then I'll back up until I see the meter move and then take a reading there and then I back up five thousandths to see what it is because sometimes you get a little stick slip too because especially with new ways that you haven't broken in too much if you got them set a little bit tight. So um, I have the DRO set to 0.1 percent of full speed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up and then I'm going to move where it says zero there and then in Mach 3 right here I'm going to set it uh, zero the DRO which it is zero now and then I'm going to back up until we see it move and I already did this so I saw it move so that moved a little bit and then the DRO here says 0.9 thousandths. So we have about a thousandths. And I've already did this, so I already know what the numbers are. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and back up to five thousandths. There, so that one says five. I'm not sure if it's that clear yet. There we go. And then we'll look at the DRO. Now the steps per inch is already set. And we're getting 5.7. Which is about right. Because we're getting about 0.9 backlash out of the Y on this one. So now I'm going to go ahead and reset my indicator to measure... The, uh, we'll take, well, let's do the, we'll do the X next. Now the X on this one turned out extra good. I don't know if that's extra good, but it was really good. So we'll see what it's reading now. Try to get it in the center of the arch or your little stop. That's the same thing here. We're going to Pulse it until we get to zero. Oop, yeah. Now we're going to zero the DRO on the x axis. 
and then we're going to back up until uh, see it moved first time. So right now we have 0.4 thou. Keep backing up. I normally only go to five thousandths. Okay, so that says five, so I backed up five. And then on, come on, baby, focus. 5.3. So, and this axis was really, really good. Um, we're getting 0.3. Uh, three ten thousandths lash on the X, which anybody would be happy with probably. And so now we're going to readjust and set it up to read the Z. Can't get the camera quite as close on this one. So good, we're gonna. We already passed it. So we're going to go in the down direction till we get to zero. And that looks like about it. And I'm going to zero the DRO. And then we're going to go up until we see it move. Okay, I saw it move. And on the Z, we're getting Point seven thousandths backlash. Now that's for the whole system, so you're going to have a little bit of slop in the ways and stuff like that. Um, a little bit of flex and everything. So we're going to go ahead and go up to negative five thousandths. That's on five, and then. On the Z, the DRO says 4.8, so we're getting three tenths of a thousandths slash on the Z, which is really quite good. So I'm real happy with the X and the Y. I'm sorry, the Z, X and the Z. The Y has one thousandths lash in it, and um, kind of wish it was less. So, but. Anybody has 1,000, and that's a complete system. The ways are a little bit tight. The ways on the PM25 are very, very nice. Um, I got the macro on so you can take a look. Um, they're really smooth. So and being that this one's all hooked up, I can now do something that I couldn't do before, which is actually... How come we're not going on? What do I do? Must have tripped on something. I was gonna run it. Okay, well, I gotta go. I think it's got unplugged. So for now, that's the PM25MV backlash test.